Schumacher, Citadel Defense. Uh, it's unfortunate that I have to make this video, but uh, we live in a time where gun confiscations of a sort are happening now. And they're happening under what they call uh, red flag laws, right? So what these are, and a variety of states have passed them now, uh, but they're, they're a, a law where if your coworkers or your family members or your spouse or maybe your kids or whoever uh, within these certainly legally defined terms, which are usually, like I said, relations or coworkers or something like that, fears uh, that you are a danger to yourself uh, or danger to others, the, they can get one of these laws issued uh, or these orders issued and the police will just show up at your door and take your guns. Uh, and, and it's before you get a chance to defend yourself in court, is my understanding of these. Now, if you want to correct me on that, I, I'd, I'd, love to, I'd love to hear that. But basically, you know, you're just at your house hanging out, and then you find out someone issued one of these orders against you once the police show up at your door to take all your guns away. Uh, it's a horrible, terrifying experience. Well, and this happened recently in Maryland, and I'm going to post a link to that below here. And uh, this gentleman, the police showed up at his house about 5 in the morning. The guy answered uh, the door with a gun because why wouldn't you? It's 5 in the morning. And uh, police come in, he set the gun down, they started chatting. And I guess once he realized um, what was happening, he wasn't having any of that. A struggle ensued over the gun and the police shot him. It's the short of it. You can, you can read the article for more details. But <clears throat> my favorite, my favorite, I mean least favorite part of the article was that in the article it said, his family said, uh, you know, he wasn't dangerous, just highly opinionated. And my first thought is, then why did you have the red flag order issued? Right? Um, now, I don't know. It's unclear to me, I guess, whether or not they were actually the ones to issue it. So that, that could be unfair on my end. But the point remains. Uh, these are getting issued and people's guns are being confiscated. And nobody cares right now because... For the most part, right, it's probably just some crazies or some people that aren't don't have it all together or really old people or whatever. But I'm afraid of where that goes. Because if they can take someone else's rights in an unconstitutional process that doesn't involve due process, why can't they take yours? So, I'm going to do a little four-part series on this and, and about why this is horrible, what we can do about this, uh, why, why it's terrifying. But if, if you live in a state with a, with a red flag uh, order, we need to get that overturned. And if you live in one that doesn't have it, good. Keep it that way. Uh, like I said, we're going to talk about that. But really, this is just what these are and what's happening. And, and this is a story that I read. And I've read a couple of these now. But this is one that I really read that I'm like, man, we, we have to talk about this. Because this is... I don't think they're just going to pass a law and confiscate all guns tomorrow, right? And just... First of all, they physically couldn't do that, right? They don't have the resources. But to chip away at people over time, that could happen. I don't I don't mean to be alarmist. I don't, I'm not trying to be alarmist. I'm not afraid that someone's going to come take my guns tomorrow. However, <clears throat> we need to be aware of what's going on here. So like I said, we're going to do a little four-part series on this and about what that means. And uh, looking forward to talking about that with you guys. Until then, do brave deeds and endure.